You're not really too picky about what you want? Not really. You just definitely want the C cup stuff? Yeah, okay. Cup. You want to try like a drop fade? Yeah, you can do a drop fade. Okay, or do you prefer more like a taper? Just this and the band? I've had, I've had a taper all my life. I mean, I'm open to try something. You want to try something new? And you cool with enhancements a little bit? Yeah. All right, this haircut was difficult, not going to lie. Shape up was easy, cutting the hair down was easy, but the fade, I had trouble, I'm not gonna lie. I had, had a little bit of trouble, but I'm gonna show y'all how I work through my troubles. This is important as a barber. You gotta be skilled, you gotta be patient, consistent, and you gotta love what you do. So I'm gonna start by taking his hair down. Immediately when he came in, um, a lot of these clients are first time clients. I want you guys to know that. Um, so this is like the first time I'm encountering their hair texture, their hairline. The, the growth patterns all that this is just the first time so it's more difficult when you're cutting someone for the first time you don't you don't know their hair immediately when he came in i already knew two two guard i just knew and the two as you can see cuts it perfectly this man wasn't even a waver or had waves he just his, his hair just perfectly lays down once we cut them curls out you gotta comb it out. You can't just chop the curls. You gotta comb it really. You gotta comb it forward instead of up to avoid cutting it patchy. Yeah. So I do believe I washed his hair after that. And we're gonna start the fade. So, what I see a lot of people do wrong is like, their fade placement. I, I really want to do a class on this. I'm not really an educator or a guy who really likes doing the whole class thing. Um, but I would love to do a class on like a on, on fade placement because I see a lot of people they place their fades just wrong towards the C cup area. Like they they're not definitive with where they place their fades. They're like unsure. I don't like that. You got to be sure where you place it. So if I know I'm keeping the C cup. I'm going to place that fade low. Like, that first line, it's going to be low. It's not going to be nowhere near the C cup. I'm going to make sure. Because you can always go back and kind of like what I'm doing right now towards the C cup and kind of play with it. But you can never go back before after that bald line. Like, you can't finesse that unless you're using a whole bunch of paint. You know what I'm saying? So, just be, be mindful of that um, if you're a barber watching. If you're not, then you don't care about what the heck I'm talking about right now. For the back, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. Now this is where I kinda of had trouble with the fade. I just had trouble on this side. I don't know what it was. It wasn't fading how how I was wanting to fade. You know what I'm saying? But I, I got the job done. I think this cut came out really dope. I think this cut fits him perfectly, in my opinion. He could also rock a taper for sure, like he said. He was rocking one for his whole life. He definitely could rock a taper. But I don't, I don't think he would look right without C cups, in my opinion. I just think it fits him. So we're gonna prep the line with a one open. And I'm gonna use my one guard clothes on this hairline. I'm gonna prep it with some alcohol, just a little bit, um, and just a little bit of hairspray. Don't go OD with it, just, you know, just be calm with it, you know? I'm gonna start in the middle, work my way towards the right side. And the trouble areas of his hairline I knew would be the corner right here, but I knew as long as I just place that first line right here and then hit that vertical bar, we'd be good. And I was right.
Once that vertical bar in there, it's game over after that, honestly. Keep that C cup pretty much right where it's at. Don't push it back. And we're going to follow this up straight to the other side. Now you still see that little faint guideline at the bottom of the fade. I'm going to work on that right after this part. It was bothering me. Um, sometimes a fade can look all blurry, but once you put that line on it, 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 it exposes the imperfections. We're going to use enhancements, 2 and 45 of course, black color. I'm mainly using it in the corners near the C cups, the front of the hairline. It was cool. And it may look like I'm spraying a lot, it's just because I have it set to where it doesn't release a lot all at once. I'm gonna use the pencil only on the vertical bar. I think this adds a unique touch to the haircut instead of putting it everywhere. Trust me on this. Try it. Just try it. Don't knock it till you try it. Just on the vertical bar. That's it. No C cup. No. Just just right there on the vertical bar. It's dope. It adds a... It's, it's, it's dope. I started doing it like a year ago. It just works better for me. It's cleaner. Finally, I'm going to freehand trim the top. Make sure all those loose hairs. Because remember, we cut it down with a 2. And a 2 isn't too low, but it's still going to you know, be curling up a little bit. We're gonna shape up his mustache real quick. And this was a complete makeover. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys wanna see too. Some, some different styles. Um, a lot of these haircuts are free, so I'm gonna start looking for different models or like longer styles. So yeah, this is my client's reaction. We're gonna spray him with some oil sheen. Wipe him down with some astringent. This is how he came in. Corners was, was struggling a little bit. It was all good, but we're going to get him together. And this is how he's leaving. New man. Let's get it. It's your boy 4. I'm out. Peace.